Hey, what's up, you guys? This is your boy, Critic D. Will with OriSounds.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And today, I got a special treat for you guys from uh, Quick Tip Tuesday. We're gonna be inside of the machine, and I'm gonna show you guys how to pitch any sample or tune any sample inside of the machine. So, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I got an instance of machine pulled up here, um, uh, the machine software, and I got the machine studio right here, over here to my right. So, what we're gonna do is, we have a sample right here, right? And it is, I, well, first you wanna go over to loops. You wanna find the sample inside a machine, right? So I got keys, this sample right here. Boom, let me stop that. So this is in the key of C. We know that because Native Instruments provides the key to pretty much all their samples or loops inside a machine. So if you don't know the key of a sample, I'm gonna show you guys how to find the key of any sample. All right, so you come over here and it tells you right here, C again, boom. So we can get off of that. Um, I use a program called Mixed in Key to kind of find the the, uh, the sample, but Machine does provide um, Guitar Rig, which has a tuner in it where you can find the key of any sample. We're gonna pull up Guitar Rig 6. I know Guitar Rig 5 has it, but I haven't messed with Guitar Rig 6. And I just wanna see, just for fun, and see if it um, has it in there, that tuner. Oops. Let me delete that. My pattern. Sorry about that, you guys. Let me go back over here. Uh oh. That's what happens when you got a slower computer and you try to do too many things that will start coming up. Boom, so you hit that tuner right there. So let's see what's up. Sometimes this thing gets it right, sometimes it gets it wrong. That's why this first method is use at your own discretion. If you know a little bit of music theory and you're comfortable and say, okay, that sounds about right, then use it. But I'm gonna show you guys another way that you can actually find the key of any anyone and it's pretty accurate. So boom, any sample. All right, so here we go. Let's play this. First try, so I guess this is my first time using um, Guitar Rig 6, so I guess that's pretty accurate. So it tells us that the key of C. So that's the first method, utilizing no third-party plugins, just utilizing the machines, uh, plug in Guitar Rig 6. I guess it is a third-party because you gotta buy it. But anyway, uh, utilizing what comes with machine. So, boom. Now, let's go over here to my favorite plugin, Mixed in Key, and it already tells me what it is right here. So I'll hit clear. And you gotta buy this plugin, but I highly, highly recommend if you are producing and you, you're doing a lot of sample stuff, this plugin is super dope because it tells you the key of the sample, right? Or if you're trying to tune a track or something like that for auto-tune, it tells you the key of that song. So, the studio edition. So let's play real quick. Boom, 98% C minor. So we know that this is in C. The problem is that this, this sample is in C, but we need to get to G minor because I produced this whole track in G minor. So how do we do that? First of all, you go over to machine. You can do it on the key, the key keyboard anyway. You can do it on the keyboard or you can do it on the machine. So, but we're gonna do it inside the machine. So I come over here to machine, right? And I go to keyboard mode inside a machine. Now, if you don't know music theory, like myself, I don't know too much music theory, but I know the basics. The basic is all you need to know is semitones and you need to be in a chromatic scale right here. And you just need to count up from C right here to C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. So to get from C to G, we gotta count up uh, semitones. All these notes, you, every time you go up in a note, that's a semitone. So you don't start on C, you start on actually the next note. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. I know to get from C to G minor, I need to uh, count, I need to go up seven semitones. Why is that important? I'm about to get ready to show you. So make sure you're back on plug in right here, and you'll see this knob that says tune. It's on here and it's on the actual machine. So tune. Tune is how you're gonna pitch this sample up or down to the desired note that you want, right? So we need to go up seven semitones. Boom. So what I just did, I just took this, this sample from C and I pitched it up seven semitones to get to G. So if, if done right, this sample should be from G to, I mean from C to G, let's see. Let's check. Boom, clear, we know that's on C. Let's clear that. Boom, let's go right over here and let's play it real quick. Matter of fact, let's get out of pad mode and let's just play the sample. G 
minor, 100%, spot on. So we know that that's 100% spot on. Um, the first few notes is an indication of what it is. You've seen how these notes were about to get into like D minor, but the first few notes that you play is typically the root note or the key of the sample. Let's go back over here to guitar rig. If my computer don't stop dying on me. All right, boom, so we got guitar rig pulled up. Let's check guitar rig just for fun. All right, so it's in G, but um, it's saying that. There we go. All right, so Guitar Rig saying that it's in G. Reason why I don't like Guitar Rig as much as I like mixing keys because sometimes you gotta you gotta uh, do it multiple times in order for it to pick up, but it picked up nevertheless. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. You guys, I hope this tip um, helps you guys out. It's very short, very simple. But if you're if you're a sample based producer, or if you're just somebody that likes to um, uh, make sure everything is in key, everything is in the right scale, you're producing in the right scale, then this tip should be very very helpful. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, be awesome and stay Ori.